Sunday football at the SCG today and it is the Swans up against Hawthorne. The Sydney Swans, three wins, five losses, the last four in a row of those five. So they are up against it. They're at home to Hawthorne. They had a win last week, but only two for the season. A wonderful day for footy, 23 degrees forecast and a good afternoon to Dwayne Russell. Pleasure to be here, Dermot. And as you said, conditions are perfect. Just a slight zephyr blowing across the SCG. And you mentioned how desperate Paul Rose is for a victory. He said to the press during the week he would run around naked if he knew that that meant that they would win. So a desperate times for Paul Roos, but he keeps his sense of humour. You can't work out whether we want to see the uh, the fun of it and uh, see them go down or whether uh, Roosie does get a win and we don't have to be subjected to that kind of uh, viewing. But he was with Michael Roberts a few short moments ago. Now Hawthorne have knocked you over four times at an average of about five goals, so they're, they're a bogey side. Yeah, look, we probably can't worry at this stage who we're playing against, which sounds silly. You know, the, the things we're going to get right really don't, uh, you know, doesn't reflect on the opposition. It's more how we're playing. So, you know, the, the, the games against Hawthorne are irrelevant in a sense. It's about how our guys bounce back and, you know, how they address the things that they know they've been doing poorly. So it's really about us today. Last time the Swans lost five in a row, Rodney E got the sack. No pressure on you, Reezy, is there? <laughs> I don't know. If I, we, we, I might sack myself if we lose. Good luck today. Thanks, mate. Paul Roos there once again. Doesn't take it, I mean, he takes it seriously, but he doesn't make it uh, earth shattering, does he? Exactly, but, uh, you know, he needs to retain that sense of humour and the players appreciate it. Sydney Swans lineup, well, Goods is still in that lineup. We thought that he was going to be out for the rest of his life, but he's playing this week. Crucial players from defence, Kenley and uh, Barry, to run the ball out of defence. And tackling is going to be one of the major issues again this afternoon, especially for these two teams. Well, Hawthorne play well when they can move it quickly. These but uh, they also need that drive and that run from defence as well. Well, Sammy Mitchell's named in the forward, in the uh, roving position. He's actually been pretty ordinary over the last month. He's a tough kid, he's, he's really uh, talented, and he needs to find the footy yeah. again. They are hard to pick up, I must say, just standing down here. That's that a good is point. Ridiculous. No, that, 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 that's a good point. That, what, what's going on here? Why We've would got you have Hawthorne you... in yellow and the umpires in yellow. Yeah, it's absolute nonsense. Why would it be? Why wouldn't they be. In orange. In orange. <laughs> or, or white. Or white. The white. They had white that wasn't bad. Oh. So we're about to get underway. With the umpire in yellow and the Hawks in gold. And the Swans in the red. Bounce. Ball flies. Chance for him to go back in and get it. Caught by Everett. Good tackle. Bolton's there. Crawford. He might get the takeaway. Caught by the tackling extraordinaire Crouch. Ball comes to Buchanan. Gives to Williams. Kick smothered. Kirk goes in hard on Beaumont. He's hurt him, but Beaumont gets a free kick on the wing. So Jeff Fennick helping the Hawks, and Barry Hall went and saw Anthony Mundine fight last week. So boxing, obviously the motivation for a lot of players now as Ben Kane has the ball on the wing. The fire warmers on, kicks along, Goods falls over. Ball to the back of the pack, Goods tries to steal it. Mitchell over it, Kirk's there, little push on Campbell Brown. And the umpire said not a big enough push from Craig Bolton. And we'll get a ball up inside 50 for Hawthorne. Indeed we will. About 45 metres out from the Hawthorne goal, Mitchell there. In amongst it, needs a big game today. It goes in his direction. Kirk, able to beat him to it. Good tackle from the Hawks. Tallis, and all over the first boundary throw into the game. He's going to try and drag Trent Crowe up into the midfield, take him out of the uh, defensive 50 end. Everett, clearly winning that down. One of the best tap ruckmen going around, if not the best at the moment, is Spider Everett. Ball kicked towards Osborne, couldn't mark it. Ground level collect, tackle on him. By Buchanan was effective. Umpire lets it go. Graham, big job on all today as Loney bangs it up towards half forward. And that one will probably find the boundary line, or will it, as Bevan keeps it in play. Did well to Keneally. Now Matthews, Goods, ball. Well worked. Matthews again. Long kick, looking for O'Keefe, finds him. Good movement. Open forward line. Hall and O'Loughlin. Two on two. O'Loughlin! Played with his coach Paul Ruse, so they know each other very well. And Ruse has him starting alongside Hall inside 45. And he drives it home for the perfect start for the Swans. Seem to be once they get inside their 45, they're getting a couple of they're getting some shots on goal, the Sydney Swans. And Hawthorne 
And there's yeah. a pretty well performed defence. This is going up the middle. Good look at what Loney was confronting. And he did go up the middle, Dermot. Indeed, Mitchell firing handball. There's the man that kicked the ball out, Loney. Now at half back, that's exactly what they want from him. Beaumont gathers. Kick to Williams on the lead. He's fast. Barry did well defensively. Kick set him up. It did indeed. It was just a little bit behind him, Dermot. Maxfield. The skipper working at half back. Out wide. Finds Nix. He plays on immediately. Deliberate look for the lead here. Couldn't mark it. Saddington trapped it on the half volley. Little give around the corner to Barry Hall. Brushes a tackle off. Got caught in the second. Kirk now at ground level. Needs good hands. Left foot snap. I think it's there. Got their six. second, Sydney. Everett and Ball to go this ruck contest when the umpire eventually bounces it. Everett front spot. Goods. Third man up. Did a bit of ruck work. Drew is obviously allowing him to come up over the top occasionally. Williams. Kirk. Chip kick wide. Hoping for and finding Saddington. Just back of the centre wing. So Hawthorne really struggled. Struggling at the moment to get any fluency in their game at all. And Sydney likewise, although they've kicked the two goals. And they lead it by 13 points. Crow. Over the top, put the knees right in the back. Well, oh, that's got a hurt you. It does. Good for Crowe's confidence, though. Oh, exactly. that right between the shoulder blades. Paul Williams, oh, feeling all that comfortable at the moment. Ball forward. Saddington, who's done well. Tidies up. Goods. It's good play. Canelli. Able to take a bounce. Barker couldn't run him down. Driving kick forward. Here we go. Over the heads. It's at the back. Who can capitalise? O'Keefe makes ground on the ball. There to keep him honest is Loney. Tackled, ball spills, Nicks just come on the ground, got the handball off the hole, round the body. Swans have got three in a row. Tried it again already, and every time they've bombed into their forward line, Hawthorne, Sydney Swans have picked it off with superior numbers. Smith, that we pecked from the kick in, had to unload the handball. Beaumont, little triangle, they are going nowhere in defence, the Hawks at the moment. Pressure. They look very uncomfortable with the pressure that's been put on them by Sydney and that's a correct decision there and this will go Sydney's way you wouldn't really blame Richie Vandenberg for that the kick was scrubby when it came forward to him he watched this I mean, this is great pressure if you're sitting up in the stands Paul Ruse now as coach you say that is great pressure from my forward line guys and just a shabby kick forward this bloke has been undersold as to his importance for Sydney Swan so far this year and they've only won the three games out of eight but this bloke has been very, very good at Ryan O'Keefe. Takes contested marks as well. O'Keefe through the corner under 18 system down there in Victoria. And he comes, kick on the way to make it four in a row for Sydney. He's got it. Runner just withdrawing Adam Goods out of the action there. Didn't want to get involved with all that stuff. Crawford off hands. Around the body goal. Hawks have got their first goal of the game. In the second quarter. As the opposition can choke them for their next possession, you know the ball's not going for a long, you know, 50, 60 metre punt outside the defensive zone. It's not that there's less room on this SCG now, it's just that it looks like there is. For the kick in, Graham. And now Loney. So has it worked? Is that what they're after, Dermot? Well, Mitchell. You don't mind if you do flick it around two, three, four times as long as you can get some free play on movement once you get to here. As long as you can move quick from here, it doesn't matter what you do inside defensive 50. That's too slow. You should have run around, kicked it, and the forward should have well, read him doing that. Lucas, it's cut off. Sannington, good hard commitment from Graham. And we'll get a ball up on attacking 45 for Sydney. Yeah, what I'm saying, when Lucas goes around to run around, he gets picked off in the end. He should just run around and play on anyway. Forwards, that's their fault if they don't get on the end of it and read him playing on from that from that position on the ground. Barry Hall doing the right work with Graham here. A free kick. It'll go to Graham. Yeah, he's unfortunate there, Barry Hall, because Mark Graham slipped in front of him and almost tucked himself underneath Barry Hall's arm. Mark Graham, the only hawk remaining from the old Hawthorne under 17 and under 19 days. The system has changed a lot since then. It's his fourth season for Mark Graham. Goes to the outer side towards Kane. Couldn't take the mark. 
Crawford pounces, goes in board. Lekas, will he play on quickly this time? It's held up, wants to play on quickly, goes with the pass option. Everyone inside 50 takes the mark. Find their feet there. He's kicked 12 goals this year. And he may have edged that through. The Hawks are coming. So the Hawks have kicked the last two goals to just pretty up the pitcher a little. But they still trail. In the middle, Everett. Done well. And here's another opportunity. Reese inside 50. Need a mark. Got it. Jacobs, the former bomber, lines up. About 30 metres out directly in front. Nothing difficult about it. And he nails it. The Hawks have got three in a row. He's starting to win a lot of them now. Inside five minutes to half time. The kick in in the direction of Barry. Everett just got a fingernail on it. Knocked it to Crawford. Twisting. Shrugs Barry. Gets caught. Gets a handball away. So Vandenberg. He goes long from 50 towards the goals. And he sends it home. He's actually muscled up a bit since that <laughs> weight was taken. He's 115. There he is, the big number 39 for the Hawks is the man we're talking about. Robbie Campbell. Well read, that'll bounce some way, and not the way Barry wanted it. No, Bateman got it. Gave it to Campbell Brown. Aggressive run with a bounce. Now the driving ball to the spot. Everett's got a chance if he wants to jump. Didn't. Knocked down Barker. Picked up Lanson. Left foot snap at goal. Don't tell me the Hawks are in front. Look at the way he'll operate here. Left arm into the chest of Sanditon and he'll try and tap with his right. Now oh, that's well done by Sanditon. He didn't give him touch and feel. Bolton takes it away from the stoppage. Oh! We're on a minute. And Hall has in fact kicked one goal one. Kick on the way. He nurses this. A little bit of left to right about it. He's got it. The Swans hit back. Barry's got his second. Go down to Michael Roberts. Thanks, Dwayne. And uh, we're speaking to the umpires. They are amused uh, with the regards to what they're wearing out there, their uniform. They were told on Tuesday by the league it had to be yellow. The clash with Hawthorne is amazing down here. Yeah, I don't know why it had to be yellow. Look, in defence, I haven't made any mistakes made. Campbell Brown gets it off. Vandenberg, goal. Did he get boot Just to it? Did he get boot to it? Yes. yes. Oh, First goal of the third quarter. Swans with a slight zephyr in their favour in this third term. The Hawks will Vandenberg come home with it. Sorry, Dan. Bolton, yeah, sorry, Kirk. Vandenberg. Now Maxfield from 45. Goes to the goal square. How a roll! It rolls beautifully. Swans in front. Umpires have been good today. Umpire Corrin Rowe. Everett and Ball, the wrestle. Bounce slightly favouring. Everett there, worked it back towards the Swans attacking half forward line. In went O'Keefe, shoveled it out, Swans go forward once again, got the numbers over Hawks, head over the ball, Tallis now, able to get it out wide, Matthews, Marks, he'll bang it inside 50 again, long ball to the hot spot, marvellous and amazing what happened, Sanctum dropped the easy mark, time to recover, did he kick the goal, he did, Swans have got two in a row and they lead by 12 points. One of the two AFL footballing twins, short to Beaumont, back pocket, and Beaumont's held up, they're hemmed in again, Jacobs might be his target here, he goes long, Saddington, Jacobs one on one, Jacobs, brilliant one handed mark. So from half back the Hawks need to get cracking, Lekas, what can he see downfield? Long ball, Barker was slightly out of position, here comes Goods, over the top, test of the knee there, beautiful spoil, Barry, the Kirk, the spin was good, ran into a little bit of trouble, Jude Bolton appealing for the free, Crow brushes off the tackle to Reese. here's an opportunity for the Hawks, should have given the handball, Reese though went alone, and got it, Hawks have got their second of the quarter. 147 goals in his career, Stuart Maxfield, he's kicked a few of those. Long kick to Crawford from Smith is good. They've brought it in nicely to the open side. That kick, not so good. It's a rolling ball. Matthews gets a little shepherd from Barry. Right to reward Barry with a handball. He goes over the top. Long handball and shrugging the tackle. Again, his crouch. Short to Nix. 
Good slick movement from the Swans. High kick, one on one. No, Keith! Body positioning. And he gets the goal as we tick in the time on third turn. Just under six minutes remaining in the third quarter. Got a contest on our hands here. Saddington doing well, considering he's undersized in the middle. Kirk got the handball to centre half forward. Buchanan couldn't run onto it in the end. That's good. Handball come out to Williams. The kick is bullet by. Finds O'Loughlin. I think it might have been O'Keefe that got it out. This to make it 21 points nearing three quarter time. He nurses it right to left. It was. It was measured and controlled. And O'Loughlin has two. Out to a 21 point lead now to the Swans. In the dying stages of this third turn from the ball up. All right. Ball is in there in the middle. Vandenberg runs free, chips the pass, and taking the mark, Lats, and inside 50. Playing just his eighth game for the Hawks. His third year on the list. Lines it up from 40. Looked good off the boot. Straight over the goal umpire's hat. Hawks are still in this. Oh, you run it in time. Do you have to appeal like cricket for those free yes. kicks, do you? <laughs> How far? Long kick! Almost a mark to Crane or Everett. Oh. They both had a little piece of it. It wasn't paid to the team. And play on. Now Bateman to send them back inside. 50 Lickers tucked against the boundary line. Buchanan might send it out of play. He doesn't. Sends it to Kennelly. Spears the pass wide to Ablett. Good mark. Inside a minute to go. Maybe a chance for a late swan score. Goes with the pass. Barry Hall was he pushed? Yes, according to the umpire. Inside 30 seconds. It's Nick's in fact on the wing. It is indeed driving ball opportunity here for the Swans. Barry closes. Graham did well to defend the ball. Crouch to line. Close to the boundary line. Bamsey's a part of it. Don't tell me they've got one just before three quarter time. Crouch just narrowed it with 11 seconds on the clock. Was sat on basically then. And slowing things down. This is a start Sydney won. They just want a tight contest that saps Hawthorne of a bit of running. 15th season for Maxfield, 269 games. Hall was paid the mark. Just beyond his range, Barry Hall. Fantastic when you've got a key forward can give you a con contest in the air like that. Kirk maybe still beyond range. There's room up the spine if they go for it on the lead now. Chips the kick and Bateman. Drops in front, takes a saving mark. This is what Hawthorne need to run out of their back line along with Joel Smith to get on the end of it. Now Jacobs runs with some space. Down the middle to Crawford, not a bad man to give it to, it's in a half back. Good long delivery towards Lekas, he's got a couple to beat. Leap and Leo goes up, can't mark. Now will Vandenberg trap it brilliantly. Can he go all the way? Runs to 45, That'll drop punt, that. swings back! to his feet. Big pack of players around this. Everett, Reese, Crawford, Crouch, Loney and a pair of balls. Ball for Sydney and Matthew for the Hawks. Ball knocked down to Mitchell. High towards the goal square. Big grab that by Crow. To bring it inside. Two goals. Trent Crow. He's starting to pay his way. In the middle. Peter Everett doing a great job. Swans though clearing ball being marked by Jacobs at half back. Hawks are within nine points. Lots and lots of time. Here's the run. Bateman gives them that Dermot. Beautifully placed kick. Everett juggling the tent. Got it. Ball just hung off him a little. Now Everett slicing ball. Crazy! Meters out. Kick on the way. High ball. That is as straight as they come. The Hawks are back within three points. After a pretty good start to the season, Campbell replaces Kane, a tall for a small. And there he is, Campbell. He does the tall and the small work. Gets the takeaway. Wolf dives. Second time in a minute. Lekas runs inside 50. He can go for goal on the pass. Goes to the pass. And Canelli's beaten. That's 
It's a brilliant mark taken inside 50 by Latson. Ken Judge was the best shirt the set shot I ever saw. And he said, go back and let your talent kick them. Don't rush yourself, but don't take too long. Don't stay over the puck too long. Massive kick this for the eighth gamer. And he took as much time as he liked. Hawthorne in front. Should have been awarded to the Swans there. Four points up, That's Hawthorne. High. Three and a half. Gabigo, Campbell, Bateman been pretty good today. Lekas keeps it alive. Boundary throw in again. <laughs> This is a great physical contest. Richie Vandenberg slams the body in then as well. Peter Swab will run out of pills by the end of today. Good sore on the left shoulder there, Osborne. There he is, shying away from the contact now. Campbell, palm down to the extractor, Mitchell. Couldn't get that one out, and the Hawks would be happy with this. This is, it is brilliant footy. I mean, it's not showcase footy, but it is brilliant contested football. And just highlighted by Kirk on Mitchell, right-hand side of screen, how quickly he just besets upon him once the ball goes to him. Swans need to get the ball in just some space so they can try and open this up because it's cost them a minute and a half, two minutes in this passage of play. Canali had the chance to work it for it, locked it in and under. Now they go. Comes out with the ball, Buchanan takes a bounce, gives it to Jude Bolton. He's inside 50 to put the Swans in. running then for the Hawks and they forgot about the defensive side of the pack and that's where Jude Bolton exploits them gets onto the end of this one here and they've got a couple of options and you'll see now the Sydney Swans will go in probably for this last couple of minutes what I reckon they'll play a two-man forward line they'll probably go with about 14 blokes in the defensive side of the ground Entire seasons can hinge on games like this. Maybe careers can hinge on it too. The Sydney Swans 10th, Hawthorne 15th coming into this game. And with two minutes 52 left on the clock, it's the Swans by two points. By a 12-man defence here, the Swans for the last couple of minutes. Everett back into the ruck. Matthews gets the take away. Goods peels off a handle to the hero, Bolton. Gets away with a handball wide, Maxfield. Half forward, Loney shuts him down at Lachlan. He might see this out of play. He'll be content with that. Ball in about 40 metres around from the Swans' goal. So now the Swans will try and lock the game down. They lead it by two points, two and a half minutes remaining. The Hawks have now got to find space. How quickly it can change. Matthews went and got it. Ran the wrong way, turned the other way, locked on his hole. No free kick, up by Sora. And said no free kick. Graham clearing ball out wide to Matthew Ball. In front was McVeigh Dermott, knocked it. Kept it in front, clever play. Waited for help to arrive. Got it from O'Keefe. They keep the ball alive. Goods crashes in. Mitchell tackles. Goods at ground level trying to gain possession. Jacobs, two point lead Sydney. And to get it over the boundary line there because Sydney will be happily happy to bottle it up there for the next two minutes. Ball back into play. It doesn't get any better than this. McVeigh dives on it. Everett trying to inspire his team. It's a handball away to Jacobs. Straight up in the air playoff. So Everett gives it back to him. He rolls it towards half forward. Mark Spill. Big chance here. Spearing pass. Thrown off hand. 90 seconds left, Crouch goes wide and Nicks might see it to the boundary in front of Osman. Gee, that was an important move by that man there, Paul Roos, to put Leo Barry on Trent Pope. Undersized against him, but he had the pace to force him into a spoil then. If that was good on him, Brody would have marked that fairly simply. Spot on, here's Bateman, Ben Gordon inside, 45 from the boundary. Across the face, we'll go out of bounds and we'll have a boundary throw in on the opposite side with a minute 19 remaining and Sydney up by two. Now, they are mad, Sydney, unless they get every player around this bounce stand. Don't worry about kicking it out and no one to kick to. You've got to choke it here. Hawks looking for win number three. Sydney looking for win number four, but more importantly, to stop 
the run of losses which is currently at four. Peter Swab, not much he can do about it now, Dermot. That stat there, Hawthorne, is ranked 16th in the league for kicking goals from stoppages like this. Deep in the Hawthorne 50. That's, that's a free. Goods knocks it that's to the boundary free. line. And a free kick, you're right, Dermot. No. No. Not, oh, sorry, it didn't go on the full. Yeah, yeah. my apology. So it's a, a deliberate effort there by Goods. So that's, I mean, that's good play. So we'll try again. A minute and eight left. Sydney by two points. Loney, got to get it out of here. Barry, fighting. Crow brought him down, made him get rid of it. Hawthorne will be pinned. Swans will be pinned here if they don't get it out. And they climb on top of it. And it will be a ball up in the attacking 50 for Hawthorne. And by blows time on here. Just got to be so careful if you're a Swans defender now. Don't fall on anyone's back. Ball can't give away a free kick here. Spider's probably the one bloke you'd trust from Hawthorne to have a shot from outside 50. It's 100 minutes all rolled into this one minute. From the ball up, free kick. Man. It'll go to Hawthorne. Oh, it is it's to Spider, is it? No, Crawford. The right captain the has a chance to win the game. That 50 metre arc is only 45, remember? And he has a slight Zephyr of wind behind him. The clock counts down. He should give it to Crow's side on. He'd make the distance. Crawford to win the game. Goes long. It'll be an Everett Mark or a behind. Mark over the boundary. It's a behind. The only way Hawthorne can win is if Sydney turn it over from the kick in. Well, have a look at this. He gets the first bite in the field of play, but the second bite was over the line. One point ball game. 13 seconds left. Got to go short and find a target. He's going to go long and get it out of the zone. Crawford over the top, sacked and takes the match winning mark. And look at the Swans runner at this, has just calm it down, gobble up the clock. He knows exactly how long left. Sydney are going to win. Sydney have recorded their fourth victory of the year. Adam Goods, a remarkable comeback.